Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today we want to give you guys yet another spectacular Battlegrounds video that we give you guys on the daily that you probably watch on your browser. And today's video, there is going to be a shout out. It's going to be a shout out with our partner Opera GX. Now, before we get into the details of that, I want to tell you guys that this is an incredible product that I couldn't believe existed. Um, so I think you guys will like it a lot. It's free. It's basically a web browser. Let me show you how it works and why you probably want to get it right now. So you're watching Crip on Twitch. Easy, right? Yeah, you can do that. Well, you can check the GX Corner. GX Corner, you can customize and see what games are coming out on certain dates. You can see game news. Um, it's, it's a gaming browser. Why else would you want in a gaming browser? Well, if you're a gamer, you'd probably want to see how much resources your browser is using because, well, if you want to play a game that has a lot of high spec requirements, yeah, maybe you want to actually have your browser use less RAM or less CPU power. You can cap it off and dedicate the resources to the game that you're playing. That's crazy, all right? Um, you can get some some uh, quick widgets here. You can uh, have like Twitter, socials, Discord. You can have uh, a little integration there so you don't have to really get off of the tab that you were using and it's just so convenient. Uh, you can customize the whole thing. Uh, they have lots of different themes. They have so many features I'm not even talking about it because it, it, it'll take too long to go through it. But check it out. Look at that. In block ads, well, not not on this channel. You, you, no, don't don't do that. Um, it has a built-in VPN, easy buttons for all the different things that you've used on your other browsers with uh, a lot of headache. Um, honestly, <laughs> it's the best browser ever used. So uh, I'm happy that they decided to partner with me to give you guys this shout out because I love it. And if you want to check it out, it's just a free browser. So you're welcome. Enjoy the rest of the video. I think it's fun to deterministically craft to some degree. Like, I think it's fun to look at an item and be like, wow, the only thing missing on that is life. So to be able to add a life mod and like fix it, that's cool. Now, to be able to 100% of the time craft a explode mod on a chest that has a weight of like 50, I don't think so. I think that's bullshit. Uh, being able to craft Tailwind 100% of the time because it's the only crit mod on a boot, I think that's bullshit. Like, it, it's it's so insane. I mean, it Tailwind isn't crit anymore. Uh, elusive then, whatever. Elusive is crit. Like, the Explode mod, you need Thorns. Thorns and lightning. Uh, physical damage taken as Lightning. And then if you do add physical, 100% of the time it gives you explode mod, then you remove lightning, and then you take a 50-50. The chance that the old, like, adding explode mod on an otherwise well-statted chest, it's a weight of 50. <laughs> the way you, they used to craft those is by using, like, 4,000 alteration orbs. It's obviously broken, dude. It's broken. Oh, non-influence to influence? Okay. The entire point of POE is to get as powerful as you can in three months, as you can start over and do it again. Um... I know I'm a streamer, but like one month into the game, my character was... Like, I could have gotten upgrades, but we're talking like mirror. <laughs> mirror gear i was what i would consider one step of mirror gear in every single slot on a build that i couldn't buy items for because no one was playing it so i crafted every piece of gear i know i'm a streamer but i also played like two hours a day and it's not like streamers were the only people who could get crafts they had like discords and shit for that that's too fast my argument is that's too fast I actually stopped playing my, my main character because I had like nothing to look forward to. Playing like one or two hours a day, I'd get like 10% of a level. That's, that's the only thing I would accomplish every day playing the game.
I think uh, Harvest is extremely well implemented in Solo Silphound. I think it's perfect. I wouldn't touch it for Solo Silphound. So, how do you fix that? You could always delete the in hideout bench. So it's just annoying as fuck to sell to anyone. Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. Actually, that's probably a pretty fair fix. Harvest couldn't roll influence mods and no other changes. I think that'd be pretty cool. The fuck? Really? It's that big already? Okay. Your minions really pulled their weight. Yeah, that's what he, that's what she said. I know. An item cap? What? He just looked at my gear and it's stupid broken. Yeah. The character that I made for the trade league has 17,000 health plus energy shield. And it uses corpse explosion, so you can't just POB the damage. But I would guess, based on the zone, it's between 20 and 60 million. Like, if you do like a cortex, it's, it's definitely maybe even over 60. Oh, yeah, and that's mostly possible with the gear. Getting really, really perfect gear. That's it. And you said you're finished with the league? Oh, I play like Silva Cell Fund a little bit. I play some stupid crap, but yeah. I just don't have much to look forward to on that character. That's it. I mean, it's kind of going backwards on these, but it's not the worst idea, I think. Every day I ask thousands of people who are trying to tell me Harvest Craft that I needed. Yeah, I know. But again, I played a build where I crafted every single one of my gear pieces. Every single one. There's there's no gear that I bought and equipped on my gear. Not one piece. That's super unusual for a PoE character in a trade league. to get the DD enchant. I bought a white helmet with the detonate dead enchant and crafted it up from nothing. The closest thing I bought to a finished item was the amulet, which had three perfect suffixes, and I rerolled prefix like 40 times until I got decent prefixes that I fixed. Tywa Hearthstone? Yeah, sure. Just a lot of questions coming into that. <laughs> Focus on the salt. I'm sorry. Wah. 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 I've lost three health. Wah. Are you not entertained? Wah. Better. I mean, I still have 37 health and I'm playing the cat. Probably should level. And honestly... That's a good... Good turn. A BG build that I want to achieve but haven't. Uh, I wanted to get... During the Dark Moon days... I wanted to get... 
the nuts beast build the nuts i never got it the nuts is basically the perfect beast build as you imagine it um but you have to get the divine shield wind fury plus 10 plus 10 on your macaw so you have to get that exact treasure and make it to turn 16. I've come pretty close, but usually when you get a really good beast build, the, the lobby just fucking ends. So there's not much opportunity to do that. Just play Alakir. Yeah. I think the closest I've come is with Alakir, as a matter of fact. Seriously. died, but the high roll is pretty serious here. I'll go with Nadina. some uh, free minions from our hero power. Why do I have Warcry cooldown on my shield? Because uh, I spam Enduring Cry because it gives like 2,600 life per second, which gives 2,600 energy shield per second, which makes me invincible. <laughs> Basically on that gear. Why sell Para over spawn? Uh, I think spawn really helps for stats. I'm a little bit weak on stats right now. And zero deaths. Honestly, this happens when I play cat like every fucking time. I don't understand how. I mean, really, I do not understand how. I I can't see myself going six. I think I'm going to try going 6 next turn. I mean, someone has to die next turn, right? Four people are going to die next turn? I think it's actually very likely, yes. Uh, maybe not very likely, not four, no. I think it's maybe a 30% chance. Uh, I think the chance that three people die is, is very likely, though. I think it's above 50% chance three people are going to die. One person died. Turn 11, seven people are alive. Have you ever seen this before? Let's make this spicy. Oh, 
fate of the world hangs in the balance. I like where you're going with this. Better hire a recruit. Should I wait? That's quite the army you're building, friend. Okay, I did uh I did whiff on that one a little. Ah shit, I'm dead. Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe not. It's not not the worst attacks, I guess. Okay. Triple Razor Gore? Not yet. Pretty tough. So unlucky. And the breakpoints are so bad. I think it's still winnable, but it's... Okay. Yeah. Tie. I was on track to lose that. Is a keeper now. I really need to get like a taunt or something. Those are really good battle cries, but oh, okay. Oakthin died to Van Cleef, huh? Really yeah. The fuck? Didn't have poisonous, I don't think. My 
my seal for Argus. Need a drink? Just thinking against the beasts, the crackling cyclones probably better. Oh, that's probably even better. Total corruption? I didn't like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. Let's see. No, I missed the freeze! Okay, well, we're both at like one health, so that's fine. really hard to lose with these dragons. This is a pretty high roll run for uh, for any hero actually. But uh, the fact that people died so slowly is the reason I have 4 health right now. Wow, 5 under. That was extremely unlucky actually. But yeah, whatever. I guess it doesn't matter. First is first. <laughs> 